Hello guys, Foxy Weather here and today I am making a video and as you can see it's quite warm out and I'm in my shorts with my dog as you can see. Guys, I'll scared the hell out of me man. Oh man. As you can see, you can see as you can see now. Look how much has grown now, like the plants, the weeds, the leaves. Like wow. Since two weeks ago, big difference. And yeah. Also, tomorrow and the 27th of May will be, no, the 27th of May. In two more days, it's the, tw it's the 25th day. So in two more days, which will be Monday. On Monday, a year ago on Monday, it will be that day that we had those really big thunderstorms, three big thunderstorms in 24 hours. And I can't really find any like pictures of pictures or like videos or screenshots of like the rainfall radar and stuff. But I found two pictures of my of you know me taking a picture of the lightning from my bedroom window. And I will because people on Twitter will um, tweet about it saying, oh yeah, one year ago we had these thunderstorms and they'll screenshot it like they, they did on in April. So yeah, look out, it's quite dark in here. Oh wow, it doesn't look any grey on camera. It's a lot darker than this. It's a lot leafier as well, I guess through the daylight, that, that's why it doesn't see that much. But man, it's quite dark in here. But yeah, tomorrow we are getting rain and stuff. So yeah, I actually can't wait for like tomorrow and Monday because then so I can finally get pictures and screenshots of last year's thunderstorms. Oh, like April, they did it in April. But I don't know what happened to them. It might be on the Twitter thing. I might be able to make a video like later on or tomorrow about the April ones if I can find it. Hopefully I can find it, but yeah, um, it's, it's really dry and it's warm today, it's more humid, we had a few showers early on, a little bit of a shower, I mean this morning it, it was quite, you know, cold, there wasn't a lot of humidity. Hopefully we do get some good thunderstorms, especially nighttime thunderstorms. They are the best. As you can see this little pond is starting to dry out. Once again. Wow. But it will remain very, very damp. I mean, that is very, very damp, and I think something's been going in it. Probably dogs, probably. I'm not sure. But I definitely do think it'll be dogs, but I don't even know if the owner would let them go in there, because look at it. It's all disgusting. River levels look normal to me. But they are, well, not normal, they look a bit below normal, to be honest. There's not a lot of flies in here, which is good. When I was walking out, I was like, oh, I bet there's going to be loads of flies. No, there isn't for some reason today. Jesus, all right. And some rabbits been digging here a lot. 
That wasn't there before. That's a, that's a big hole there for that rabbit to dig. It's very, very quiet. Next week's weather looks quite mixed. So hopefully we get some so I'm kind of craving for some now. I really am. Really hope we get a nighttime thunderstorm. That would be the best. That would be brilliant if we could what if we do get one, which I do think we will at some point. But that would be that would be quite annoying because you would either stay up all night or get up in the night somehow. But I do feel like June will be the month for some really good thunderstorms. We got overcast skies. So yeah, we're getting rain tomorrow we are. So yeah, rain tomorrow. It's good to make these videos, then you can look back and be like, wow, this is what it's like in late spring and summer. Look how thick the woods is now. And then when you go into winter, you'll see see how much it changes. Like, it is like a big, 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 big change. So yeah, look at my Storm Freya video. You can see a big difference. I think I do, yeah, I have to stop for her. I mean, this is finally not, um, not wet. It's like, still got moisture underneath, so that's good. Anyway, I'm going to Centre Parks this year. So that'll be good. I'll make a video there, maybe, hopefully. God, that thing scared the crap out of me. If I was a person, when I had done corner height, it made me jump. Look at the river. So yeah, memory will, memory video will be on this Sunday, like, as in the twenty seventh of May. Because people will um, be like, "Oh yeah, this will happen a year ago," and yeah. Maybe later on or tomorrow, I'll make a video. About the April thunderstorms. Thing is, April the 21st, we had, I'm not sure. Try and find the pictures of it. Loud aeroplanes. And the train back there. But I remember that, that day, like, I had barely any sleep. Also, the Met Office, we had to get up so early to go to Exeter because the Met Office um, thing started around... Oh, what was that? Was that a frog? I don't know. Oh, I bet you get loads of snakes here, so I have to be careful. And this bit's still really damp and wet. I think someone might have trimmed this bit here. Oh my god, this is actually quite bad. There could be snakes in here. Just be careful. Oh, just imagine if this bit's get flooded. That'll be bad. Oh man, that hurt. Oh, that bugger got me. Oh, now that's gonna itch like mad. Oh, that got me good. Oh. Try not to touch it. I'll try and ignore it. Those are some big leaves. Look at that. I'm gonna get up there. If there's no poisonous caterpillars here. 
Oh, I don't even like being in this pet. Oh. God, these are massive. These are humongous. Hey, look at that. That's humongous, that is. Wow. It's impressive. There's the river level. Oh, you can't, you can barely see the river. It's only because of the um, weeds and bushes going over, growing over it. But the problem is, I just realised, like, oh yeah, talking to you about the Met Office here, completely forgotten about that, but yeah, about the Met Office thing from tom tomorrow, from one year ago, I went to the Met Office, we had to get up around 5 a.m. No, we had to leave at 5 a.m. because the Met Office um, tour and like a talk, would you say, started at half nine. And yeah, that's very early. So we were there, for two, and it lasted about two, two and a half hours. About two and a half hours. It was really good interest. It was really interesting and really good and stuff. And he even did a forecast about the thunderstorms. And I remember looking through the windows at the Met Office, you know, where they do issue their, their warnings and where they talk about like severe weather. I looked through and then realised that they issued a yellow warning of, of rain. They didn't have thunderstorm warnings at that time. They issued a yellow warning of rain over me and I'm, oh God, that's disgraceful. That's disgraceful. And I was like, oh my God, we're in the warning, we're in the warning. And yeah, then we went back home. The humidity was unbearable. In the afternoon, the humidity was very high. It was so sticky, horribly humid. And I was constantly on my phone that day, like looking at the weather, mod che checking the mod, checking the radars, all of that. And then as I got home around 11 o'clock at night, I remember that. I remember that I said, oh, we're missing out, looks like we're missing out and stuff. So I went to bed, my parents woke me up around two o'clock. I went to bed, I went to sleep around half 12, something like that, yeah, half 12. Parents woke me up around two o'clock, said, oh yeah, thunderstorms arrived. Told you we might not have missed out. And I was like, oh my God, I looked out the window and there was lightning and it was just about to arrive. And I'm like, oh my God, this is gonna be sick. And it lasted two hours. And then uh, two o'clock to like, started around quarter past two and lasted till like huh, after four o'clock. Then went to sleep for like two, three hours. Then got up at 7 a.m. with a massive big bang of thunder and I realized we're gonna have another thunderstorm at 7 a.m. And it was very loud, very loud thunder, heavy rain. No, torrential rain actually. It hit at us. It was quite a small thunderstorm that one. And then I, then I didn't. I thought I'm not going to sleep now. That one lasted about. That thunderstorm lasted about 20 minutes. No, 30 minutes actually. Yeah, about 30 minutes. Then after that, I looked at convective weather, and then were they realised we're over the yellow, moderate. Then. Um, all day I was weather watching the humidity was absolutely unbearable like it was horrid really horrid then I remember radar watching and then I saw these showers forming I'm like oh my god oh my god this could be it and then it turned to thunderstorms around Banbury then it was heading my direction I was like oh please expand and it ex and it was expanding expanding and then other thunderstorms started forming in the south as well and they all banded up and then, then hitted me. They were very slow moving. And they, uh, they actually stood over the, the Midlands, sort of, and lasted over two hours. I mean, when they formed, it was just constant thunder for like five hours. Even though the thunderstorm was stalled over us and it kind of left, Thunder and lightning was just still going and going and going. 
that was a very exhausting two days. Those two days were very exhausting. And yeah, was very exhaustive. In my head, I could still hear thunder in my head. It was mad. A mad two days, barely any sleep and stuff. And the next day, went into rugby, the rivers, oh my God. When I checked here, the rivers were, they were so high. They were very high. They burst its banks like it was bad. It was like, pro the fields were like proper flooded. I got around 22 millimeters of rain from those thunderstorms. Birmingham got 56 millimeters of rain. Coventry got about, about 18.4 millimeters. Rugby got about 20, they got about 20, no, I'm trying to think now, um, 20, ah, 23.2 millimetres, now I remember, got it in my head. So yeah, the rivers were, they were, they bursted, the fields were like flooded. Like, not even joking, that underpass, the hell, there's mushrooms here. Ah, now that tells you something because it's dark. God, it smells really mushroomy now. Wow, that's a strong smell of mushrooms. And yeah, I remember that day quite well. And um, there's a bridge that goes along between Coventry and Rugby and between my place as well. It has like a tunnel that goes under, like a bridge. Quite a low bridge that goes under. You go under the bridge because the train goes across, goes over the bridge. That was like flooded completely. That was like bang on flooded. That could not go down because uh, a due to a lot of uh, flash, flash flooding. So I didn't know you could go there. Hmm. What the hell are they doing there? Never seen people. I hope they're not druggies though. But yeah, back to what I was saying about the rainfall. And plus that tunnel that goes underneath, there even no flood. It stayed flooded for like, what? Two days. And yeah, they tried to get for, the, 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 the circle for water out, but it didn't work because of, of course, all the drains that we have in rugby go into reservoirs and rivers. All of this in my area goes into rivers. All of the drains just goes in rivers. So that tells you. So yeah, it was just mad. Hopefully I can find a video of it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. And yeah, see you later or tomorrow. And also I'll see you on, on Sunday. So yeah, goodbye. Please, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.